What you need today is your Related Arts packet, two pieces of white paper, scissors, glue, and crayons. What we're going to do is we're going to go in our Related Arts packet and there are these circles and we're just going to pull them out and then you have two pieces of white paper. We're going to make a still life. We're going to make mittens and snowballs in the snow. A still life is something that stays still, like flowers on a table, fruit on a table, or anything that doesn't move. So we're going to make a pile of snowballs and we're going to make a mitten. I'm going to push the snowballs off to the side and then I'm going to trace my hand for the mitten on my paper. When you put your hand in a mitten, your fingers are closed this would be a glove and your thumbs off to the side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my crayon and I'm gonna just trace around my hand and then around my thumb and then I'm gonna do is do a line right across the bottom and that's my mitten and I don't want a plain boring mitten I want one with pattern so I'm gonna pick two or three lines to repeat to make a pattern. Maybe I want to use a zigzag line. And I'm going to go from one side to the other. And then another line I like is a loopy line. Can you think of different kinds of lines? Maybe even a dashed line or a dotted line. Now I picked my colors and my lines. I have blue, purple, and red violet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna do my zigzag blue from one side to the other. And then my purple loopy. And then my dashed. I just made a pattern. I'm gonna continue my pattern until I get to the bottom. Zigzag blue, purple loopy. Uh oh, the thumb. I'm going to go this way now. And then dashed. And then zigzag blue, purple loopy. Uh oh, the thumb is missing some pattern. What should I put next? What would be above the loopy? I have to think about it. Let's see. Above the loopy is the zigzag. Now I'm doing the pattern backwards. And above the zigzag is the dashed. And above the dashed would be the loopy. And above the loopy is the zigzag. After I fill my entire mitten up with lines and patterns, I'm going to pick another color and this time I'm going to color very light. I'm going to go around the outside, pressing really light. After I go around all of the outside, I'm going to start to take steps. I'm going to go up and down with my crayon. One step, two steps, three steps four steps until my whole mitten is colored in with no white space. Nice, neat coloring. Then I'm ready to cut it When out. I use my scissors, my two fingers go in the big hole, my thumb goes in the little hole, thumb up and bring the paper to you. This is a curvy line, so you're gonna have to move your paper around. Take your time and make sure this is nice and neat. Mitten is ready for my still life. And then we also need to work on our snowballs. So I have these circles here. And what I'm gonna do to make them look even more round is I'm going to put a little bit of a blue C shape off on one side. And that gives it a shadow to make it look 3D. It'll also help these shine from the background. So I'm gonna do this. I'm not coloring them because snowballs are white, but I'm just doing a little bit of a shadow of blue to show that these are round 3D shapes. And then I'm gonna cut them out. When you cut them out, make sure you take your scissors and you put your two fingers in the big hole, your thumb in the little hole, and you're always thumbs up. Bring the paper to you and your hand is open shutting, open shutting, and you're gonna cut out all six circles. 
If you didn't have this circle paper, you could just trace your own circles or draw your own circles. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up and cut out my six circles. Today we're practicing cutting on a curve. See how I'm turning the paper towards my scissors? Now that my six circles are cut, I'm ready to glue my snowballs and mitten to the paper. This is like a lost mitten in the snow next to the snowballs. So I'm gonna leave my paper white and I'm just gonna turn my mitten over and I'm gonna go around the outside and a squiggle in the middle. I wanna make sure that this doesn't fall off. So I'm gonna just put it lower on the bottom and then I'm gonna rub a dub dub and make sure it's glued down flat. After I glue it down flat, I'm gonna put my snowballs in a pile. We want that shadow to be off to the side and the bottom, right? That's where shadows occur under things. So pretend the light's up here and it's causing a shadow. They should be all going the same way. And I'm just gonna make a pile. Three on the bottom, two in the middle, and one on the top. And I'm gonna glue it. Again, go around the outside. Shadows on the bottom. Rub-a-dub-dub. Around the outside, squiggle in the middle. Shadows on the bottom, I get to overlap them. Rub-a-dub-dub. And then the third one on the bottom. Rub-a-dub-dub. And then two in the middle. Rub-a-dub-dub. And then squiggle. And then the last one on the top for my pile of snowballs. Make sure all of my blue shadows are in the same spot, off to the side towards the bottom. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. And now I have a snowy still life. I have my stack of snowballs and my mitten in the snow. I'm gonna sign it like an artist. Now it's your turn to work. Remember, you're taking the circles from your related arts packet. If you don't have them, draw your own. Then you're tracing your hand like it's in a mitten. And you're going to add a pattern. Pick two or three colors and two or three lines to repeat on your mitten. You're gonna cut and glue to make a collage and then your still life is done. I can't wait to see what you made.